All right, guys, we're back um, to this Audi A4. Here we go. So you can tell I got the engine hoist up in the garage, finally. I was not thinking of getting this engine out, but now I just realized that we have to get this engine out because to take the oil pan out and the upper oil pan as well is a bolt that bolted to the rear main housing seal. The, that bolt is uh, bolted to this upper layer of the oil pan and to get that bolt you have to take out the engine out and take out the flywheels off to get that bolt so just to get those two bolts because this thing is hanging loose already but there's two bolts behind the the rear main housing behind the flywheels that's why i had to take out this engine out so I can get those two bolts. Uh, you guys probably asking why I have to take the engine out because I had to take this uh, piston off, put new rings in. And to do that, you had to get out this upper layer of the oil pan. So now we're um, right now is uh, this engine is hanging on the hoist here. Everything is off except that starter wire, I believe, that it needs to come off. So this cable, the, start, the starter is loose in there and it's better to take out this bracket right here for the engine mount so that the starter will come out. Well, it can go like that, but the cable is on the way. All right, I'm gonna have to take out this bracket. Both on the top, both on the bottom. 12 millimeter, 12 points. Twelve points again. Twelve millimeter. All right, guys. So it's better to put the engine down on the floor on top of these tires here with the cardboard. Because um, when I spin this bolt here, the whole flywheel crank spins. So I, I got this dowel pin. And there's a little notch on the block here that we could. Press the, the dowel pin and then when you turn the the bolt it would gouge in. It's not gonna move anywhere, so just need to stop the the flywheel to, to spin. So that's what I'm doing here. Just crack them loose. All right, let's see if we could uh, pop this. Let's use the pry bar. Mm. There we go. Make sure it goes back what, what it was before. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this down with a pen. It goes like that. Some flywheel, there's a weight on them, but on this Audi, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just gonna better be safe than sorry. I just wanna bring it back when I assemble them together, what it was from before. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. This is the bolt right here. This is the bolt that gives me a headache. So if this bolt wasn't here, I could have had this, pan off already weeks ago but I guess that's how it is um, I had to take out the engine take out the flywheel to access on this two bolts right there so right now let's put it on the engine stand and uh, get this thing uh, leveled up <laughs>
taking out this two bolts right here so that this upper oil pan will come off. This is the only bolts that I need to take out. Well, I guess can't take it out because of this <laughs> bolt right here. God damn it. turn down this piston out so I'm gonna show you on the piston here you can tell Jasmine's on the camera right right now and video taping helping Papa say hello hi all right Jasmine so watch here okay we're gonna take out this uh, rod piston bolt uh, 10 millimeter socket is what you're gonna use so just uh, I took the one here and the four is still on there it's loose so uh, three and f two and three is the one that we're gonna take out. It's loose already. I'm just gonna zip them off really quick here. Now push the piston. Come this way, Jesse. Here. Oh, there's ah. the piston. There's the number four. Take it out. Touch it. Touch it. The picture. So this is the number four bearing still in there. Uh, you, you notice that the, this is a 2010 piston and this vehicle is a 2010 so this is the original piston, the original rings. You can tell this is the old style oil ring gallery right here. It's spring and we want the one that uh, the waffle style oil spring so we're gonna change that to a new one all right so that's out we're gonna mark it number four on this one number four, four. put that on the side and then uh, we'll continue take out the rest of this bolt So, okay, the bearing is came off easy. So I don't know, is that a good sign or should I change it with a new one? What do you guys think? See, they go. So it goes back what it was from before. Okay. And push down. Push down the piston. All the way like that. Same thing on this one. Push it down. All right, so go on the other side, Jesse. Look inside here. Stay back to press it. like that and then the last one the number three just like that three in the road just like that yeah don't move i'm trying not to move don't move all right guys so like i said uh this is the number three uh we'll mark it number three And this is the number two. There you go. So it's all mark. I smell mark. All right. So just make sure uh, put all the caps where it was from before. This is three two and one no three this is four two and three 